Good morning from Princeton, New Jersey. We're here on our road trip. We thought it'd be cool to stop by. Raya said it's really beautiful here. So we're going to take a little walk. Mm -hmm. And also it's Thanksgiving today and we're going to cook something in the bus. Yeah, we have like an epic vegan Thanksgiving feast planned. But first, it's a beautiful day. And my family tradition on holidays, Christmas and Thanksgiving, is we like to go for long walks. So Princeton University is like beautiful, super old buildings. And right now, yeah, like I said, it's a beautiful day. So we're just going to go explore. And it's free parking today because it's a holiday, which yeah, is cool. So it's pretty perfect. So we're going to stay here for the day. <laughs> so peaceful i guess everyone's on holiday this is yeah. probably like the most peaceful chilled time yeah i don't think there's anyone here and how much does this remind you of hogwarts yeah <laughs> well, what have you found just two of like the brightest most beautiful trees when you stand here and look up it's just red yellow and bright blue from the sky it's so beautiful wow Tell me this window doesn't look like Harry Potter should be peeking his head out of there. <laughs> oh my gosh. And this is literally Hogwarts. I love it. I love it. Okay, this may sound really weird, but I really miss school. I loved school and yeah, I've thought about it for quite a few years that I would love to go back and get a master's degree in something, possibly psychology, that's what I'm most drawn to. I'd love to know if any of you out there are as crazy as me, feel a similar way, like if you could go back to school, if you had time, money, whatever, resources, would you, first of all, and if you would, what would you want to study? Maybe especially now if you're older and you've already studied something, <laughs> maybe something that you didn't end up using in your real life, like now that you've figured out more of what your interests are, Maybe you have a better idea of what you'd like to study. I would love to know what you'd be interested in studying. Wait, I haven't even asked you that. Oh, Louis filming. I'll ask him in a second. What would you study if you were to go back to school? Honestly, I think similar to you, I think psychology is so interesting and mm -hmm. I think it relates to everything you do in life. Yeah. That's like our favorite podcast ever is called Hidden Brain. And it's all about that, like the subconscious psychology that leads us to do different things. And yeah. it's just so fascinating. Maybe, I think in another life slash maybe even in this life, I would love to be a therapist or something. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I'd love to dive in to like the human brain and how I can help people deal with insecurities and past trauma and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, learn about how our thought processes and, and behavior works as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But every time I come here to these kinds of campuses, I just like, I could see it. I think we did actually say this when we were in New York. My dream school was always NYU. And you guys know the story, but I didn't go there. But I would totally be down to come back and live in New York for a year at some point in the future and study NYU for a year. I don't even know if you can do that, but I'd be down for that. I love this. Look, my big fat interfaith Thanksgiving. All members of the university community are invited. Love that. This is one of the most vibrant yellow trees I've ever seen. Thanks for suggesting we go for a walk here. Is that a little chipmunk? What even is it's that? It's so cute. I don't, it looks smaller than a chipmunk. <gasps> That's definitely a chipmunk. Yeah. <gasps> Whoa! What is that? It's an eagle. Whoa. I think the eagle is trying to eat the... I think this eagle just swooped in and tried to eat the chipmunk. Wow. What the heck? Is it an eagle? Some kind of bird of prey. That's ridiculous. 
Look at that squirrel is hiding from the bird and making the weird squeaky noises. He's telling his friends that they need to be careful. start cooking yeah that was such a peaceful relaxing walk I know and this is such an epic parking spot it's just so beautiful our solar is charging right now and it's a beautiful day beautiful quick break to tell you about today's sponsor Klima I'm sure that everyone watching this video wants to be able to do more to combat climate change. I know that I do. That's where Klima comes in. It makes climate action simple, effective, and rewarding. With an affordable monthly subscription, you can plant trees, promote green energy projects, and improve lives around the globe. You can calculate your carbon footprint in just three minutes and then fund climate projects that capture or reduce the same emissions elsewhere. You can also learn how to reduce your footprint further with small lifestyle changes and invite your friends and see how your impact multiplies. I know that carbon offsetting can be really overwhelming and that's why Louie and I have been loving this. Join us and go carbon neutral with Klima today and use our link in the description down below with our code and you will get 10 extra trees planted in your name. So make sure you use that code and huge thank you to Klima for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to this overly ambitious meal. So it is officially our first holiday on the bus and our first first holiday just us because <laughs> the last few years we've obviously been living in community in LA our last Thanksgiving was like 20 to 30 people yeah we had a big Friendsgiving in at our house Venice yeah and obviously we're not near our families right now so it's a little sad but we're trying to make the most of it um so this is also a new holiday for me like obviously we don't yeah. celebrate Thanksgiving in the UK but it's nice to go along with tradition and it's a good excuse for amazing food. Yeah. So that's definitely the plan for today is just to cook like a delicious vegan Thanksgiving feast in our tiny kitchen where we only have three pots. We don't even have a pan. And our oven doesn't work. We have like a tiny toaster oven. So we're going to make the most of it. But this is the menu that we're thinking right now. Mm -hmm. Raya is the top chef. I'm going to be the sous chef. Is that yeah. what you call it? Yeah. <laughs> Apprentice. Okay. Mac and cheese, mashed potatoes, vegan turkey, mm -hmm. gravy, brussels sprouts, that's our favorite, cranberry sauce, cornbread, and then for dessert, pie with vanilla ice cream. Peach pie. Yeah. This may be a little ambitious, but a few of the things we have kind of cheated and gotten like pre-made stuff, so. But some of the stuff we're making from scratch. So this is, okay, if you ever watch Friends and ask your friends like, who do you think I am? I'm definitely Monica, okay? You can see that because I've written a full list where I've color coded by what needs to go in the oven and what needs to go on the stove top. Um, and then I've also written how much each thing, how much prep time and cook time so we can time that everything is kind of ready around the same time. I'm just gonna follow her lead. I'm gonna probably be sitting there <laughs> peeling potatoes and doing a lot of the like easy tasks. Yeah. Hopefully don't mess them up. <laughs> but this is the difference between us is I read all this to Louie and then he was like, can we just wing it? And I was like, no. <laughs> it's more fun that way. Maybe we can just wing a little bit. We'll see. Um, let us know if you're more like Raya or Louie in these kind of scenarios. But okay, we're gonna, the first thing we're going to do is you're going to prep the potatoes and I'm going to put the turkey in the oven. Okay. All right. Let's do it. Now, as some of you pointed out, and I have noticed I cannot fully stand up in the bus, which is a bit of a problem because this is our house, I'm living here. But I don't actually stand up that much other than walking in and out. Most of the time I'm sitting down working on my laptop. So I'm hoping the tasks I can do to contribute to this meal, I can do sitting down rather than having to stand up. Otherwise I'm gonna get like a sore back. So this is my little work area. Um, do you wanna pass some things to do? First, can you light the candle? Light the candle. This is my favorite USB charged electric lighter. Is this just to make things smell nice? Yeah. And it's 
We gotta make it smell like a cozy cabin. Okay. <laughs> I thought you showed them that it's on. <laughs> wash my hands. We're doing an assortment of potatoes. We have medium potatoes, huge potatoes, and a sweet potato. And those are their official names. Yeah. So. <laughs> well, I'm gonna get shopping. Right, let me do a, an example cut. Okay. And then you tell me if it's the right size. Okay, what do you think of this size? Yeah, perfect. Perfect. So our oven has not worked since we moved back in. Hopefully we're gonna be able to fix that yeah, soon. Yeah, I don't know what's wrong with it. Um, we do have a baby oven. I forgot who it was that said this was like... A Russian doll. Yeah. I think Tara said it was like, our oven's pregnant with a baby oven. But yeah, this is what we have. I'm hoping this will just be fine running off the battery. We'll see. Let me just look at the wattage. Uh, a thousand watts. Is that a lot? It is a lot, but uh, it'll be all right. How long do you need to run it? Like an hour. Okay then, I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> that should be fine. Okay. This is the turkey that we went with. It is Gardein plant-based savory stuffed turkey and it has cranberries and sage with homestyle gravy. It looks really good. I think we had a version of this um, a few weeks ago and it was actually really good, so. So we got this brand again, and I think there's three pieces in here. Oh, there's only two pieces, and then the gravy. Oh. That's the other one. But that's, I promise you, there's enough food. Okay. Okay. So these need to bake for about 40 minutes, and I we're hoping that it doesn't just drain our battery baking. But let's try. Each potato I'm chopping differently just to like keep the variety. Okay. It's not gonna be oh keeps it more interesting. I just realized we don't have a masher. Oh. We're gonna have to hand mash. Really? We don't have a masher? No. Since when? We've never had a masher in the bus. When have we made mashed potatoes? I'm sure. We don't have a masher. We have a masher. Okay, we'll figure that out. So for the mashed potato recipe um, that I found, you roast garlic and you like mash that in with it. It looks so good. So I'm gonna wrap this in foil, cut it, cut the top off and then wrap it in foil and put it in with the turkey. Here's the garlic. Wrap it up. One last potato, the sweet potato. Sweet potato. First task complete, passing it over to Raya. Do you want to get the Brussels sprouts ready now? Yes. I feel like the hardest thing with cooking meals like this is just timing everything and trying to do like everything at the same time. So I have a timer for to turn the turkeys around and then I've been boiling water for the potatoes. I'm gonna get the pan ready for the I almost feel like the potato should be... This is the problem, we only have one big pan. And I think I need a big pan for the Brussels sprouts because they each need to like fry. Okay, we'll figure that out. But anyway, I'll just put this... Water's almost boiling and add some salt. The potatoes are going in. Okay. The vegan turkey is looking good. I'm just washing the Brussels sprouts quickly. Heating up some oil to put Brussels sprouts in. And I've got this like splatter thing so that, you know what, I might, I might use two pans for this. I a lot of Brussels sprouts. Ideally, we would just be roasting these. It'd be much easier. We just don't have the space. Ooh. Four, four are working in there. Oh, okay, that's way too hot. Relax. Oh, right, timer. What's that? Gotta turn the turkeys around. Turning them around. We're at 92% battery. 
holding strong. Whew, okay, it's starting to get a little bit overwhelming. You're doing so good. I'm <laughs> I get the fire extinguisher. No. Not yet. Oh, the camera is very steamy. Oh my gosh. Uh -huh. So Raya's just said we need to make the gravy, so I'm gonna try and help with that. You just give me a list of ingredients and I'll put them in a pot. <laughs> okay, we'll start with nutritional yeast. Toast the nutritional yeast. This is for the gravy. Yeah. Half a cup of nutritional yeast. Need some flour, two tablespoons. Flour and nutritional yeast with no liquid. Yeah, because yeah. you have to toast the nutritional yeast a little bit. Mmm, oh, that does smell toasted. This. Ooh, should I just keep stirring? Yeah. Next up, we're adding a half a cup of tahini. Apparently, this adds like a really nice nutty flavor. Also, we don't even have a measuring cup, I'm just using like a mug and using that as our measuring tool. So what have we put in so far? Your nutritional yeast, vegetable um, broth. Yeah, and flour. And flour. We don't have any of the right tools, like we're not that's fine. That's fine. doing it at all. We can even say that, like if you are a normal person in a house, you could you actually use a potato masher. <laughs> You're a normal person. Yeah, we're not. Yep. All right, time to mash. Okay, what should I do with this gravy? Should I just leave this to you? Yeah, you can leave that to me. So I'm just gonna bend the fork like this, so it's like this. It'll bend back, I promise. <laughs> bend like this. Uh, you might have an actual potato masher, which would be handy right now, but <laughs> we're, we're improvising. That's next on our list of our things we need to buy. <laughs> no, it's not. We have so many other things before that. I'm not sure Ah, oh, I'm forgetting things, it's getting crazy. Ah. And then lastly, we need some soy sauce for the gravy. So this adds like the salty... This is working beautifully. <laughs> okay, good. They may be a little overcooked, so that makes it easier too. So happy. Why don't we have mashed potato more? I love mashed potato. Yeah, maybe we should. Right, next up we've got mac and cheese, and this is one of the pre-made things we got. I haven't even tried this one, Annie's Organic Vegan Mac, and I didn't even realize it's pumpkin and sweet potato flavor. It's literally perfect for Thanksgiving, so... Pumpkin and sweet potato mac and cheese? Yeah. That is the most American thing I've ever had. <laughs> now, taste, taste the mashed potato as well. With the mashed potato. Lou's mashing the actual potatoes and now we're mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm mashing it. <laughs> <laughs> we're just eating the potatoes. Oh. And I'm gonna cook in a pan. So good, I can't wait for dinner. Alright, got my notebook. Gravy, done. Turkey, done. Brussels sprouts, done. No, no, I need quarter of the Brussels sprouts. We're not cooking anymore. That was too time consuming. That's enough for us for tonight. Um, Are you kidding? You're kidding, right? Yeah, I'm kidding. Ooh. Don't worry, I'm kidding. You probably scared me. You probably scared me all the time. No. That's wrong. Don't worry, I'm kidding. Okay, I want to try this gravy. Wow. Hmm. That's interesting gravy. Yeah, it smelt weird. <laughs> um, there's something off about that. <laughs> it tastes very like citrusy, like <laughs> no, that's like sour. <laughs> that's the tahini. Mm. But it's very nutty. You added too much tahini, maybe. <laughs> I actually added less than it said. But I think we did something wrong. I don't know what went. You know what went wrong? We don't have a measuring cup. But that's what went wrong. <laughs> it's fine. It's gonna be. Yummy I mean, it's not disgusting, but no. it's got a weird sour it's, taste. It's just it. quite. <laughs> okay, this pan's ready. Okay. Brussels sprouts. Uh, not yet. Six tablespoons. Probably all this, right? 
Yeah. Okay. What is miso? Um, it's fermented soy, I think. Yeah, soybeans. Wow. It adds a really nice, like, rich layer of flavor to many dishes. Oh yeah, for the macaroni cheese. Okay, and here we would do half a cup milk. Where do you find all these cool recipes? On YouTube. We've got some extra creamy oat milk mixing in the cheesy mixture. Is it too hot? Mm -hmm. Don't want you to burn your fingers. Oh. Oh, that is satisfying. <laughs> ah, everything's, everything's too much. <laughs> wow, who knew oh, that you... Shit. Oh. It's getting crazy. Who knew that you could just do this with garlic? I think a lot of people. What very sticky garlic is this? Okay, did you okay. avert disaster? I think so. Is that for a macaroni? That is a macaroni. What that's, do you mean? That's tiny shells. Macaroni's um, long with a hole in the middle. Okay. It says mac and cheese, okay? Oh. Wait, what? What? It actually came like this? Yeah. What do you mean? That's so interesting to me. Mac, as in mac and cheese, is short for macaroni and cheese. Macaroni is a specific shape of pasta, from what I understand. But this is shell pasta, macaroni. Yeah, but mac and cheese is just mac and cheese. It doesn't matter what kind of pasta. So that's what I'm use. saying. I think they've lost the essence of what the macaroni is all about. Italians would be. Oh, okay. I need the coconut sad. milk can. Okay. Nice. Mac and cheese done. Okay. We've added the coconut milk, miso, garlic, and was there anything else? All the windows are steamed up so crazy. Okay, dinner is ready. We have Brussels sprouts, mac and cheese. We have mine and Raya's vegan turkey. I think it's made of tofu, I guess. We have a huge bowl of mashed potato, normal potatoes, sweet potatoes, garlic, miso, coconut milk, butter. And then we have very interesting gravy. Okay, we'll give this a go. Maybe a small amount of that. What's this, cornbread? Yeah. We have cornbread. And then for dessert, I'll just put this out here to show you. We have delicious vegan peach pie. Not, not homemade, we just got this from Whole Foods, but look at that spread, that is freaking delicious. Right, we'll, uh, we'll make up our plates and then give you, give you the verdict. This is a lot of yellow beige. Yeah, I was going to say that, <laughs> carb central. But I feel like that's Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. It's because it's cold Yeah. and this is a very like hearty, warming food. Yeah. Cheese. I think this was the same last Thanksgiving as well. Yeah. It's just always yellow. We forgot the cranberry. Oh, oh, just maybe a little less than that. <laughs> <laughs> this is not the. That's the the strange one. This I think this one's really good. Oh okay. okay. <laughs> I think we did it wrong because all the reviews say that that other one's incredible. Yeah, we must have done it wrong. So maybe I forgot something. <laughs> okay. Maybe we don't need the cranberry. Yeah, we don't need it. Taste test. First thing I'm going for is the vegan turkey. And it's got stuffing in, mm -hmm. and it's breaded. Mm -hmm. I think we had this last year, did we? Or two years ago. Wow. Mm. That's so good. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and it's got cranberry sauce in it. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna try your mashed potatoes. Oh, I'll give that a 10 out of 10, that vegan turkey. 
Oh yeah, that's very mm. mashed potatoes. Wait, I think they need a touch of salt and pepper. Yeah, I did think that. I didn't want to over salt it. <laughs> you thought you. that? I thought it needed more salt. We didn't have any salt, we should have added salt. Yeah, but then I was like, we can just do that ourselves. Wait, that's your black. Ooh, actually, I got this black garlic. Add that. Did it need yeah. more garlic? We put 22 cloves of garlic in no, there. No, we didn't because we didn't use most of the liquid. Oh. Okay. Mashed potato test. Oh, that's amazing. It's very garlicky. Is it? Uh huh. Yeah. I don't know if it's garlicky enough. Really? Yeah. I mean, you can never have too much garlic. No. Okay, Brussels sprout. Okay, I was gonna do mac and cheese, but Brussels sprout. Mm -hmm. I already know these are good. Mm -hmm. mm. So good. Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. Mmm. It's not very liquidy, mac and cheese. Yeah, because I cooked it for longer. Yeah, it's good. But that is good. Not a ton of flavor, but I feel like a meal on its own, it wouldn't be great, but. I'll be brave and can use some of this crazy gravy. Wait, where was I putting it? No oh, potatoes. Mm -hmm. I think it's nice. Mm -hmm. And the cornbread, we did not make at all. We bought it ready made from Whole Foods. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So good. Okay, hey, what would you give this meal? I mean, maybe it's because I haven't eaten lunch and I'm really hungry, but I would straight up give this a 9 out of 10. Nice. I think I'd give it an 8. We definitely. I didn't taste anything as we were cooking, so a couple of things could have used a touch more salt, but I guess you just add it now at the end. That, yeah, exactly. Yeah, pretty good. It's better to under salt something and add salt, because you can't subtract salt. Yeah. We're going to say one thing that we're thankful for. I'm thankful that we have the freedom to travel in our home and create our own life. Mm. Mm. I'm thankful for the nature and the seasons that we're getting to see as we're driving south. Like, it's just so different everywhere. And yeah, and now that we're going to go even more south, we're going to see such a huge difference in the nature and the plants. And it's just cool to be able to like drive south and to see all those changes. Yeah. And yeah. we'd love to know what things you're thankful for. Mm -hmm. Maybe put in the comments one thing, like the thing you're most thankful for in your life. And I just think it's great, something we often remind each other is to practice gratitude. I think it really changes your outlook on life. It really yeah. helps you enjoy each day more, be grateful and thanks for watching this video. Hopefully it gave you some ideas for a vegan Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. We are gonna be sharing some more on the road cooking recipes hopefully a lot more colorful than yes this. less yellow definitely less yellow food um but yeah this is just mm. we thought it'd be fun just to share something simple today of just like what it is like cooking on the bus mm -hmm. a little window into our life and it well, was it was a lot it was <laughs> i'm not gonna lie i don't know if i would do a full thanksgiving meal in a tiny bus With again no but <laughs> i'll fix the oven anyway if you're not already subscribe and we'll catch you in the next video Bye.